lay down last night Down upon my cold and lonesome bed I lay down last night On my cold and lonesome bed I received a letter To say my gal was dead Now I didn't have much money So I could not go home I didn't have much money So I could not go home I just went to the window And I just hung my head and I moaned That was part of a song sung and created by Floyd Council. It's a raw blues and for me it really speaks about uh, that style of music between the Delta Blues and Texas Blues and a straight ragtime. It's somewhere in between. It has a ragtime feel but it's low down soulful blues. Floyd Council for me represents some of the blues men that maybe are not as famous as the well-known names such as Robert Johnson and Blind Blake, Reverend Gary Davis, Muddy Waters, but they had a profound effect and influence on many, many guitarists through the ages. Floyd Council played with Blind Boy Fuller. In uh, sometimes he backed him on records in uh, in South Carolina, where they both lived. But of course, Blind Boy Fuller was much more famous. Floyd Council was a much lesser known person. Blind Boy Fuller, of course, was well known for playing ragtime pieces in the style of Trucking Little Baby. I got a little girl lives on that hill. She says she won't, but I know she will. She's a trucking little baby. Truckin' little baby, she's a truckin' little baby, I'll tell it everywhere I go. It seems for every well-known legendary blues figure that we know of, there are several other shadowy figures who produced lesser amounts of records, but nevertheless they had a profound effect on the style and the flow of music for many generations. People like Sam Chapman, uh, Leroy Carr, who also played with Scrapper Blackwell, created some standard blues songs. Scrapper Blackwell was an Indianapolis guitarist who was very, very creative on the guitar and he also wrote some great songs. We all know Robert Johnson's Sweet Home Chicago, but in fact Johnson didn't write this. It's a direct copy of Kokomo Blues by Scrapper Blackwell. Try and listen to the original and you'll immediately see that it's almost a direct copy. Scrapper Blackwell also created standard songs such as Nobody Wants You When You're Down and Out.
Great stuff indeed. Where would our music be today without these guys? You might have noticed that for the first part of this video I had the capo on the first fret. This is a habit of mine. I sometimes tune the guitar down, sometimes I leave the standard tuning where it is, but I like the feel of the capo and also it suits my voice for many songs. It's entirely up to you. You're the boss, you're playing the guitar, you can play it any way you please. I've taken the cap off now, so we're in standard tuning. Today we're going to take a look at a song written by Leroy Carr, the partner of Scrapper Blackwell. This is called Blue Day Blues, played in the style of Scrapper Blackwell. This is a song played in the key of A, and I use a long form of A in this way. But often I hold down the last two strings of my little finger. It makes it more interesting, makes the sound more full. Of course it, uh, it's a bit of a stretch, and you have to have quite a bit of strength in your little finger to play an acoustic guitar in that way. But if you persevere, it makes a difference. We play an E chord, which now and again we turn into an E7 chord for the end tags and the turnaround. Sometimes I may play a run and associated with an A chord, for example, and I won't hold down the strings with my little finger, I just use the bar. My general rule is, if I'm not going to play a string, I won't bother to fret it. When I play the D7 chord, I don't hold the high E string down. Because I don't need to, I, if I play it, it's open, so I never play it. Let's take a look at my hands in close-up as we play a section of this song Blue Day Blues by Scrapper Blackwell. Take it easy, take it nice and slow. Good luck.
hope you enjoyed that. Take the time to listen to these old guys, to really listen. Listen to people like Hacksaw Harney, Sam Chapman, Floyd Council, and take a, a while to try and work out exactly what they were doing with their fingers. It takes some time, sometimes it's difficult, but you get the real flavour of how that music was created, and you can create it in the same way yourself. You don't have to copy this music completely, but you can add these techniques into your own playing, and you can make your blues stand out from the crowd a little, make it a little different. Take it easy, I'll see you next time. Keep it real. This is Jim Bruce on Truefire. Until the next time.